Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out a city a tweak called Taskmaster. This will make some use out of Spotlight. Instead of having a boring blank page in Spotlight, it will fill it up with a bunch of information and toggles and stuff like that that you can use. So let's check it out real quick. We'll back out to the home screen and this is the first page of my home screen. If we slide over here, you'll see Taskmaster. So this will give you a bunch of stuff on your spotlight search panel, as you can see right here. If we tap on the play button, we can go ahead and start playing music. Of course, you're not going to be able to see that there. And it does seem to be a little buggy. As you can see, when I started playing it, the album art didn't pull up until I paused it and then started playing it again. But as you can see, you guys get the point here. We just have the ability to go through our music and everything like that. Yep, that is Pokemon in case you're curious, but let's check out the rest of it here. We have volume slider right here, and then we do also have a brightness slider right underneath that. Now, right below here, we have a bunch of toggles. So you can scroll through this little list here and bring up all these toggles that you can use for your device. Kind of quick access to them, but if you have a tweak that allows you to access toggles in your app switcher, this may or may not be faster, I guess it depends on your preference, but we do have a ton of useful toggles here such as Wi-Fi, do not disturb, we have uh, sound settings, orientation lock, stuff like that. Just your standard toggles, I guess, that you would use in pretty much any situation. Now below that, we do have some social buttons. So we have Twitter, Facebook, we have compose a new mail message here. As you can see, we can jump to that real quick. And then we also do have compose new text message. Now, here's the thing with this though. I noticed this when I was using the tweet button. So if I tap on the tweet button, right? And if I wanna cancel that, the cancel button is right over the search field in Spotlight. And if I tap on cancel, it'll think that I'm trying to tap on the little Spotlight search section and it'll pull up the keyboard here, which can be annoying obviously. And the only way to get rid of it is to back out and then go back in. So keep that in mind. Now the Facebook little widget here doesn't actually cover up that search field at the top. So when you tap cancel on this, it doesn't do anything bad or wrong or anything like that. So this is just a quick little overview of Taskmaster. One last thing here you have, if you scroll down underneath this, you have a bunch of device info such as your device's name, the operating system it's running, the capacity, how much space you have left on your phone, network name, IP address, and then you have battery over here on the side that'll tell you how much battery you have left, that little circle will drain as your battery decreases. So this is Taskmaster. It's pretty cool if you don't like Spotlight or you're tired of having just a blank page that isn't put to any use, this may be the tweak for you. So if you like Taskmaster, you can grab it in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. It's compatible with iOS 5.1.1 and higher. So keep that in mind. And also there is no iPad support at the moment. So they have yet in parentheses there. So maybe that will be coming in the future. I don't know. Go ahead and check it out. And as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.